How many galactic federations and councils are intervening in human affairs? On July 18, 1952, the famed American contactee, George Van Tassel, received a message from an organization calling itself the Ashtar Command, and he later forwarded it to US Air Force officials. In that historic message, a stern warning was given about the dangers of the US developing thermonuclear weapons. The day after its issue, the sensational 1952 wave of UFO sightings began over Washington DC and other East Coast cities. Over three successive weekends, flying saucer craft flew over major metropolitan areas, including the nation's capital, in an unprecedented display of air power and superiority. Van Tassel revealed that the Ashtar Command had a powerful space base hovering 72 miles above the Earth, closely monitoring human affairs. Around the same time, another prominent extraterrestrial contactee, Daniel Fry, wrote a book in which he referred to a galactic federation also monitoring human affairs. Throughout the 1950s, 60s and 70s, there was a steady succession of contactees along with channelers, mystics and others referring to galactic organisations intervening in or monitoring human affairs. In 1981, Carla Rukert and Professor Don Elkins began a series of questions and answers with beings calling themselves the Ra Social Memory Complex. The Ra material refers to a confederation of planets currently monitoring the Earth after having intervened with disastrous results thousands of years earlier. In the early 1990s, another extraterrestrial contactee, Alex Collier, described an Andromeda Council intervening and monitoring human affairs and warning about a galactic tyranny emerging 350 years in our future. In 2015, the Secret Space Program insider Corey Good spoke about a super federation and a sphere being alliance intervening in human affairs. Most recently, we have two more extraterrestrial contactees, Elena Danan and Megan Rose, relaying information they have received from representatives of the Galactic Federation of Worlds. They reveal how a series of meetings were held in July 2021 at a major space facility run by the Ashtar Command high in the atmosphere of Jupiter, which has led to unprecedented changes in the fundamental power structure governing our planet and the solar system. Why and how did these galactic associations begin their interventions? How do diverse galactic bodies interact with secret space programs set up by different branches of the US military and intelligence community? Were Russia, France, Israel, China and Japan also visited by different extraterrestrial groups and subsequently build secret space programs? What are the Jupiter Agreements and how important are these for ushering humanity into a future where we become open members of galactic society? Why have leading aerospace corporations been chosen to mass produce advanced aerospace and healing technologies for humanity? Finally, what has been predicted about individuals stepping into their full power as universally connected sovereign beings? Find the answers to these and many other important questions by attending my upcoming six-hour webinar intensive Galactic Federations, Councils and Secret Space Programs. Discover how galactic organizations are helping to awaken humanity to bring about a global revolution where the power of the Deep State, Fourth Reich, ruling bloodline families, etc. is forever broken. This webinar will also include a special 90-minute panel featuring Elena Danan and Megan Rose discussing their recent intelligence drops from the Galactic Federation of Worlds and how it all relates to historical data and contemporary events. Join me on October 9th for this exhilarating journey 
through recent galactic interventions on planet Earth which directly impact humanity's entry into the galactic community. To learn more, visit exopolitics.org.